And so what, what do you think that means in terms of uh, this game, Surgeon? Looks like, oh, the Overlord was scouted by the SCV, so Kixi actually doing a good job there. But yeah, what does that mean? I mean, that means mirror list automatic. And it also could mean drops from QXC, as you did mention that QXC loves his medevac dropships. So we do have the gas going down for QXC, so we won't be seeing any early marine pressure, or at least very early marine pressure from QXC, as he is getting that gas down, and Hick Hapro uh, realizing that and going to be putting down his natural expansion. Yeah, the natural is down from ha from Hapro, and I, the QXC in the first game, he did an engineering block, and this second and third game, it looks like he's just allowed Hapro to get his expansion. Uh, free of charge. Yes, you always want to, as a Terran player, deny that natural expansion from going down. You want to punish them for going for that economic lead. And the only way to do that is get at least two barracks out, as well as pulling a couple of SCVs, you know, just to throw your Zerg player off and maybe make him pull all of his drones as. That is a viable way for Zergs to defend the all-in SUV and marine rushes to pull your drones as well as you will be able to get surrounded. So a bunker going down for QXC at the natural expansion of Hapro. Hapro going to be forced to pull a couple of drones to deny this SUV, but the one marine is on the way and these drones should be able to take care of this SUV before it gets this bunker up, but we will see. Yeah, we will see indeed. Hapro is committing just two, two drones to this, pulling two more possibly, but then just getting minerals from that. The SCV does get taken down, and I think QXC, unless he brings another SCV, will need to cancel it. Uh, these uh, Marines will get taken out, no problem, because six uh, Zerglings are on the way for Hapro. Hapro does have one, uh, he has an extractor out, so he may be getting Zergling, Zergling speed soon, and let's see what the fate of the Marines will be. It looks like they will be intercepted by the Zergling. One Zergling gets taken down. Meanwhile, QXC is microing those Marines very well. And he's actually he's deciding to run away. QXC running his SCV up into the main, trying to get a scout, and he will get enough information here. Hopefully, he needs to really micro that SCV a little bit better. But in the meantime, QXC did go for his factory early, and is just about to finish, so let's see what he decides to do. He needs to cancel his bunker here at the natural expansion. Uh, Zergling is just going to pop up here. They're going to see this factory, and it's just going to be really bad for QXC as he really wants to hold that off, hold that uh, vid uh, scouting information away from Hapro, but Hapro is going to get a clear look, and so QXC is going to actually go for a command center fast expansion off of this uh, one factory build, as well as get his second factory. Yeah, QXC not opting for a starport here, so, you know, in our Terran vs. Terran matchups, it was pretty much 1-1-1, and it, it's, it's cool to now see, I don't know, for me it's cool to now just see lots of, you know, a, de a deviation from the 1-1-1. Um, but I know the, the, the little one, he, when he was Terran in the beta, I remember him going 1-1-1 and then going like Mad, then going Mad Viking on Kulas Ravine. So, you know, it's really kind of, I don't know, do you think that versus, as a Terran player, Surgeon, would you say that in this matchup right now, it's not favorable to go 1-1-1 versus Zerg? A fast expanding Zerg is uh, going to take an economic lead, but actually that can lull them into making too many drones. And so looking at the income tab, Hapro is ahead 27 to 21 on Harvesters, but QXC is actually going for another double factory build with a Infernal Preigniter being upgraded for his Hellions, and he's going to be producing a, a bunch of Hellions, getting a reactor on his second factory. His command center did get scouted by a, an Overlord that did come in and escape with 5 HP, and the command center is going to be floating over to the natural expansion. But yes, you do you do need to do economic damage if you go for that 1-1-1, one, one, one. so a lot of players will not be going for that 1-1-1. One, one, one prefer to do a marine push and with an expansion behind it to keep that economic uh, level. Yeah, and Haper lost his overlord by the command, main command center of QXC, marine shooting it down. He has a bunker right next to his uh, natural expansion, which will get filled up uh, presumably by marines. And um, I don't know, both players are just kind of macroing up. You have both born all the way, Zergling speed is done. This game is in motion. Hellions are now out, and I think the Infernal Pigniter is Research, we have five Hellions, so QXC wants to make a repeat of last game's success. Yeah, it Hellions like are just a great Hellion. way. Yeah, Hellions are a great way to just throw the Zerg into confusion as he is forced to defend and be wary of those Hellions from doing economic harassment. And really, no one has found the proper micro of the drone line to prevent yourself from losing all of your harvesters. For any race, really, you need to prevent the splash damage from those Hellions' loop lanes. So here we go, 
Kelly's are in the base. He pulls all of his drones, but they go in a line, and he is going to have Zerglings to be able to surround these Hellions, or Zerglings to surround the Hellions, and he is able to pick out two. Coaches are finished, and this one Hellion is going to stay in here, getting three, four kills, and he's going to be still in the in the main, so he's going to maybe get a couple more kills here. Yes, he does get one more kill, but uh, this Queen should clean it up. And in the meantime, we have a barracks being constructed for QXC. Yeah, those Hellions did a great job, but I think that Hapro uh, controlled the unit so great, he waited for them to get up the ramp, and his Zerglings were waiting to, to get the surround, so Hapro has definitely uh, dealt with this before. And now it looks like we have three more Hellions with Pre-Igniter on the way into the base. Ooh, it's skirting around the edges of the base of Hapro. Looks like it, it'll scan the third. I, I did notice that the Hellions did see the Spire, so uh, QX knows the Spire's on the way, and um, uh, it looks like I see an Engineering Bay in response, but he will see the third. For Hapro, he knows what Hapro is doing. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be a prime target for Hellion Harass later in the game, and he is macroing out quite heavily his barracks as well as getting stim for his marines, and he's going to be able to defend these mutas pretty easily. And I believe uh, QXC is sitting okay with his natural expansion down, fully saturated uh, with uh, mules also going. He is now only taking his second gas at, in his main, has no gas at his second, his natural expansion. So. With those Hellions, you don't need any gas, and it's okay to just be on one gas early game for Terrans. Yeah, and I feel c compared to last game, Hapro has the right units at the moment. Um, he didn't have the roaches he needed when the Hellions were there before, and he definitely didn't have the Mutalisks so soon. Uh, but at this point in the game, Hapro already has his third on the way, and Mutalisks on the way, so he was able to tech faster, um, whereas last game he was, I think, kind of slowed down. And it looks like, yeah, these Hellions are, these Mutalisks are direct counter to the Hellions. So Baneling's Nest on the way as Hapro is thinking ahead that the Marines are going to be forced to be made with these Mutalisks on the field. Uh, he does have level 1 attacks for his air units, as well as getting another Queen to support his third base. So Hapro continuing to macro up, as well as QXC going for his third command center. Uh, let's see if there's a Starport out yet. No, but we do have tanks. Marines and Hellions out for QXC. Looks like he wants to do a push. He is moving outside of his base. Uh, he did map out quite a bit of units and he is going to be, looks like moving across the map. Yes, he's going to be splitting his forces. Hellions one way and his Marine, Marauder, and Tank Force the other way. He's going to force these Needless to engage those Hellions as he did see, the, see those Hellions with that zone on the tower. So Hapo just trying to play it safe and he is going to be getting Banelings at his own Natural expansion, centrifugal hooks 50% done. So QXC looking to take out this third for Hapro. He wants to deny this third and deny the gasping mind as well. Yeah, and QXC, I feel like he's, he's going past the point of no return. His his Marines are in red zone territory. They are probably won't be coming back, seeing their wives and family. But but he uh, QXC is looking to do a lot of damage. He is getting up his third right now, so that's kind of what this push is for. And there are roaches retreating back onto the third of Hapro. And um, let's see how this fares for QXC. Alright, so here comes the engagement by Liquid Hapro. Hapro going in with Banelings, but getting slowed by those marauders. And looks like everything gets taken out. Oh, by and all gets taken out. <laughs> yeah, QXC loses all of his forces to those roaches and yeah. Banelings. So. But he is going to be going with a command oh, squad we... of so many. Uh, just a good unit composition. He's going to be holding this round. He's going to need to go in, but he loses uh, his Hellion and his forces to the two queens as well as getting reinforced by roaches. So Macro yeah, hatch you know, is up for Hapro. Yeah, you know, Surgeon, I just have to say, thanks to the creep that which Hapro has um, just persistently spread across the map, he was able to get his units basically from his third all the way to his main in a split second, which kind of uh, nullified QXC's um, second wave of attack which, you know, went into on a completely different part of Hapro's base. You know, another Zerg, a lesser Zerg, who doesn't spread as much creep, it would have taken him longer, I think, to get there. Although, uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. So we do not have a starport out yet for our Terran player, QXC. I would like to see that as the main is pretty much quite droppable, but a fourth expansion going down for Hapro at the 6 o'clock natural. Uh, the Hellions are there, they are going to see it, and they are going to show their hand. They really should be running up here into this third at the 4.30 and they are going to try to go for some drones and they are going to be able to take down some drones but the roaches are here to reinforce while at the same time Hapro just spreading creep and throwing overlords all over the map uh, but QXC does have a planetary fortress at his third expansion so let's look at the income tab showing that it is 
actually Kyoch see who is ahead with those mules uh, providing uh, th that extra mining there. Yeah, it looks like an even game um, and approximately even supply here. Uh, Heypro, I feel like he's in his comfort zone. He was able to get out his roaches at the time that he needed them. You know, he was able, had enough time to get a spine crawler out at, at his uh, second base. You know, now he has a fourth up already. It's only 50 minutes through the game. But, but QXC has, sure, he did lose a great number of units, but he is macroing very, very well, even getting a fourth base now, uh, Command Center, just going down. It looks like some Hellions, they are skirting around the Mac, trying to make something happen. Roaches, uh, although it looks like the Roaches are going to encounter them. Yeah, so those creep tumors being the observers for Zerg players, and Hapro doing a great job to get that, that creep all the way up, almost to the Nacho expansion for QXC, and he is going to be going in here with some mutas, and there's only one turret to defend, but there's so many mutas, there's almost a control, uh, uh, there's about 16 mutas in there, and they're going to just take out all this tech, they're going to go after the engineering bay and the armory, and while wow, QXC is so out of position here, he's going to lose all of his upgrade facilities, he's going to be put him at a pretty big disadvantage, he's going to move back with his marines, and move forward with his marauders, and at the same time he's moving out with his hellions and tanks, and those mutas are forced to retreat. Those uh, Marines did war force, force the stem, and with no medevac support, they're going to be very weak here if uh, Hapo decides to engage as he is uh, approaching 200 200 on his supply. And these Marauders are getting picked off by the Mutalists, and the tanks are trying to take out this fourth expansion, but it's not going to happen as the Mutalists are back to reinforce. Yeah, and my question is where on earth did those Mutas come from? We were so focused on, uh, you know, on the Hellions and, you know, on kind of the, the meta game and all that. It's just, I feel like. Hapro, you know, just all of a sudden summoned up all these medalists and it's because, you know, maybe he wasn't as active with them and so as, you know, like he was saving them up, he wasn't harassing them and losing them. <laughs> and I just can't believe how many medalists he has. He's taking complete map control, able to take a fifth base right now safely. And this game is really Hapro's to win now. He has his fifth. If we look at the harvester count, it's about even, but the armor tab is 185 versus 134. Three base Terran versus five, four and a half base Zerg. It's going to be five base Zerg very soon. Yeah, and the middle is coming into the third expand, thir the third four QXC, and they're going to wreak havoc there. They're going to try to go after all these missile turrets, but the missile turrets doing quite a good job as the, all the Marines were in the main four QXC, and QXC is not even going to move his army from his main. He's just going to leave his four and Marines in his main. Finally, got some medevac dropships out. He's going to be moving over one drop over the uh, over the ravine and. Yeah, Hapro just he stopped mining at this third expansion for uh, QXC. It looks like QXC is going to try and land his uh, Wayward Command Center on the goal, but lo and behold, the creep tumor spread is so uh, out of control that he's not going to be able to land it, unfortunately. Yeah, and these mutas are just keeping QXC way off balance, and he was able to clean up that drop in his own main, so Hapro looking really good here. Let's look at the army tab showing that. Hapro is max, QXC at 155, so Hapro really needs to do some damage here. He has so many minerals in the bank, 3,000 minerals in the bank, 1,000 gas. QXC is starved for gas. He does have quite a bit of minerals, so I think he wants to get out some Thors or maybe some Siege tanks, but he does have a couple of Thors on the field, and he does really want this old expansion to catch up here economically. Yeah, Hapro doing a great job of denying expansions. We have a little skirmish here by, actually not skirmish, looks like a scan and taking out the creep tumor by the gold. Um, so annoying, and then we have some, yeah, I mean, the list going in, not doing too much damage, but look at the uh, all the different expansions on the map. It looks like there's an Overlord, you know, at the fifth of Q of QXC. So, Hapro Pank playing a very very smart game. Here comes a flank from uh, two pawns attack against this Marine army, and yes, yeah, he forces GG before all of his forces are eventually steamrolled. So yes, yeah, Hapro using his. Hey yeah, Hapro, beautiful to watch in that game, you know, just 